I just want to come and do a little, I guess, to inspiration, inspire somebody kind of video. Um, I was just sitting here thinking and I just was like, well, let me go and talk to my subscribers and let's just have a conversation. So, um, let me just say, I want to title this one, um, screw them. Just don't, never give up. Um, and I say that because there are so many times people just give up and and sometimes you give up too quickly. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's just on life in general. Um, a lot of people just give up without trying another option to get to that, that goal or that path you're trying to take. You just give up. It's like, fuck it. And I'm one of them people. I'm not, so don't think that I'm just calling nobody out or whatever or I'm talking about a certain person. No. I'm one of them people too. I'm the type of person, I don't like to hear the word no. I hate to hear the word no. And that's, and I, you know, I blame my daddy for that. Rest in peace to my daddy. But I blame him for that because he didn't tell me no. So, and he was always like, don't take no for an answer. So, that's how uh, I always thought. So, when people would tell me no, I would be in my feelings a little bit. Like, I ain't talking about a bitch. And, you know, so, it took me a little while to get it. Like, okay, it's a lot of people going to say no. But there's always that yes out there. So, let me just give you, like, kind of an example. You guys know that, like, like a month ago, that I told y'all I had got a job. So I was going out for the, for the job. They called me back, back for an interview. I got the job. Um, I was supposed to start, and then they had, like, de delayed the um, training class or whatever. So I wasn't able to take the job because the job that they, the position they wanted to give me was, like, from 3 to 11. And at that time, that's, like, when my kids soon as they get out of school and I wouldn't have had no one to watch my kids or anything like that so I was like oh my god what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I'm still gonna like fuck it I'm gonna make something happen and I'm gonna still do the job but then the uh surgery came and I couldn't take it because the hours that the, the training was I couldn't miss no days so I couldn't take the job so I'm like okay whatever I got to deal with this surgery. That's what I'm going to focus on. Whatever. So, last night, I'm walking to the store. I got a car, but the store is across the street. So, I'm walking to the store across the street. And, um, on the way back, I get this phone call. I'm like, damn, I'm not going to take this call. I don't know this number. But, some said take the call. So, I took the call or whatever, and it was a job offering me an interview. So, I'm like... At first, I was like, bitch, you ain't got no teeth in your mouth. You was not going to go to this interview. Hell to the no. But some just said, say yeah. When a lady was like, can you come for an interview tomorrow morning? My instant was like, hell yeah, I can come. What time do you want me to be there? Whatever. So, I go to the interview this today. I got the job. I wasn't even tripping about this job because really, I forgot that um, I even applied for the job. I really forgot and so I wasn't expecting no phone call. And um, so I was really grateful that I got the job. I'm, you know, I'm really happy. There's some things that I have to do. I have to wait on my background check. And then I have to um, get some, like, certain kind of little cards or whatever to work out here in Nevada. You have to have certain cards to work in certain places. So that's cool. But when I was talking to the lady, this, I, this is why I say never give up. Because when I was talking to the lady, she was asking me why do I want to work there or whatever. And I was telling her. And we were just having a, like, girl-to-girl -girl conversation. Like, like she was one of my friends. So, I was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, she really made me feel at ease. Because I'm not the type of person to, you know, do interviews on the spot. I could do an interview. I'm not that type of person. I, I can't think on my feet and give you an answer. But... I, I don't prepare for interviews. I'm the type of person, if my personality don't shine through, I don't know what to tell them. Because sometimes, your answer might 
not be the answer that they want to hear, even though it's a correct answer, that ain't the answer they want to hear. So I just let my me just shine through my interview. I don't let my experience shine through my interview or nothing like that. I just be me. So today I'm talking to the lady. She asked me why I want to be there or whatever, so I'm telling her. And then, you know, I just have to tell her, like, look, I haven't worked in a long time because I, I didn't have to. <laughs> my dude take care of the family. All I have to do is be a mom to my kids. So I didn't have to for years. I didn't have to. But now I want to. That's the difference. I want to work. So I just told her, like, look, I don't have no ex experience of recent or whatever, but I'm just looking for somebody to give me a chance. That's it. I can start from the bottom and work my way to the top. Just give me a chance. And she was just like, you know what? I like that answer. I like somebody that just hungry for a job, that want to work. And so she hired me right there. I had to go through two, like, two or three more interviews, but they all was just like, okay, cool, I'm cool. You know, I didn't even, the second and third interview, they didn't even do the interview process. They just had me sign some papers, and that was it. The first lady was like, I don't even want to do this interview, you know, you know how they have to ask you so many questions and certain questions and put you in certain situations and how would you respond or whatever. She was like, I'm not even going to do that. I, I like your personality. So, to me, if you have a cool personality, not somebody with a stank-ass attitude, and you looking for a job, go for it. If you was a person that's trying to start a business, and it seemed like nobody would help you out, go for it. Do it your damn self, and work your way from the bottom to the top. And then when you get to the top, remember the motherfuckers that wouldn't help you? Just remember them. I'm just saying. But... You know, if it's a relationship, if if you think that relationship is for you and not your mama, your daddy, your homegirl, your homeboy, your cousins, if it's for you, don't give up on your relationship. I'm so tired of people giving up on their relationship because they hear what other people got to say about their relationship. If it's not harm, if that relationship is not harmful to you, or like if he ain't kicking your ass or doing something to your kids, or you know what I'm saying, something like that, or a motherfucker that just want to go to jail all the time. Don't give up on your relationship. I'm just saying, like, I get pissed off when other people break up. When people break up because somebody else is in their relationship talking about, you don't need him, you don't need her. How the fuck would you know? Are you sleeping with me or him or I don't know. But it's just always somebody in somebody else's relationship, especially when their relationship is fucked up. I'm just saying. But, yeah, I just want to do a video i'm gonna come back and do my usual thursday video but i just wanted to tell you guys like don't give up i don't give a fuck like i said screw them that's if you gotta just put that in your mind even when you walking into a job interview if you walking into your business venture just put it in your mind screw them screw all the negativity screw all the naysayers just screw them and go for your goals. If it's you graduating high school, fuck all your friends. You know what you need to do. Go graduate. It's like, don't give up. Do not, if you like, because I see a lot of times people wait till they get to the 11th and 12th grade and they give up. Don't. You only have so much time left in school. If your parents is getting on your nerves, I'm sorry. Just put up some earphones. And do what you got to do as far as your homework, your whatever things you have, projects you have to do in school. Just stay focused. Don't let your home life dictate on you graduating. Because I did that. I did that in my life. I let a lot of things in my home life when I was a kid affect me when I was going to school. So, don't do that. Keep going. Don't give up. If it's you trying to get closer to God, don't give up. It's a lot of us that try to get closer to God, and then we got these friends that we don't know how to let them go. So we can't get closer to we what we can get, and then we just give up and just go back to hanging with the negativity. No, stay focused and don't give up. Um, what else can I tell you not to give up on? Just don't give up on life. I, ha I would hate to see any of my subscribers not talking to me anymore because they ain't gave up on life. If you need to talk to me, conversate with me, 
um we can do that if if you're a real cool ass person not just trying to get with me or trying to get something from me i'm more than welcome to be your friend and well your associate until we can become friends um and just talk we can be you ain't got to tell me your deep dark secrets we could just talk just about life in general just talk so you can just not think about all the negative bullshit that's going on in your life and be able to be like you know what my shit ain't all that bad because a lot of times we think shit is bad but it's a lot of people worse off it's a lot of people like damn i want something to eat but i don't know what to eat bitch i wish i can chew some shit i'm just saying so just know that it's a lot of people just worse off than you you got teeth in your mouth. I don't. I'm worried soft to you. Just saying. There's people that don't have a roof over their head. You got internet. You're watching me. I'm just saying. Some people ain't got internet. Some people got to go to somebody else's house and watch internet. So I'm just saying. Um, but yeah. Talk to me. Tell me what you guys thought about this video. Um, make sure you share this video. Like I said, if my videos that I do like this, if it can't help you, it might can help somebody else. So please make sure you share. Make sure you like it. And all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live, all that good stuff. Um, I do everything by the ghetto view T H A, not T H E. Make sure you follow my cousin Mike B eight oh one, Tasha C, some more love. Check out Squeaky Jones new video. She got a new video up about um about friends. So check that one out. I thought that was cool. Um my boo Jamar Washington, check him out. Um, Scotty from Mr. Still Standing, Justin J. We all do like besides reality shows. We a lot of us do videos such as basic life videos. So that's why I try to get them pe YouTubers names out there so you can just see that everything is not about just reality shows. It's about people just trying to live life and be positive and all that good stuff. All right, you guys, peace out.